हेलो Good afternoon, everyone. Praise the Lord. Yeah. We're about to um, start the program, this special program, uh, Celebration of Life, for our dear mother, grandmother, great-grandmother, Madam Esther Oleshege Adifemiwa, um, I'd like to, first of all, like to start by saying a very big thank you to all of you for being so prompt and punctual. It's, uh, it's not something that we should take for granted. We really appreciate you. Uh, to to kickstart the program, I'd like to call on Pastor Toin Olawe to please step forward and lead us in the opening prayers. Praise the Lord. Amen. Pastor Tony, please. Praise the Lord. Amen. Shall we rise to pray? Our Father and our God, we thank you for this day. We thank you because this is the day that you have made, O Lord, and we shall rejoice and we shall be glad in today, O Lord. Father God Almighty, we thank you because you have seen it fit, O oh God, to call home your daughter, our mother, our grandmother, our great-grandmother, our sister, our friend, O oh God, at this time, O oh Lord. Father God Almighty, we give you all the glory. We thank you, God, for her life, O oh God. Father Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you lent her to us for a season, O oh God, for a life full of love and impact, O oh God. Father, we say thank you. Father God Almighty, we ask, O oh God, at this time, O oh Lord, that you comfort us, O oh God, that you comfort and strengthen, Lord. Father, Lord, you are the God of all comfort. You are the Father of mercies. Father, Lord, grant your comfort, O oh Lord, and your grace and your strength at this time. Father, Lord, yes, we celebrate her life, O oh God, and we thank you. We are full of thanksgiving for that which you, she has meant to all of each and every one of us, Lord. But we pray, O oh God, that you continue to give grace and strength. Father, Lord, we commit this service unto your hands, O Lord. We pray, O God Almighty, that you shall be glorified. Amen. Father, Lord, even as the ceremonies continue to celebrate her life, O God, Father, Lord, we ask that every step of the way, Father, Lord, you who have gone ahead, make all the paths straight, O God. Father, Lord, let it be glorious. Let your presence be manifest, O God. Let your daughter's life be celebrated, O God, to the glory of your name. Jehovah, we thank you. We give you all the honor all the glory, all the adoration, in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Please turn to somebody and say, we thank God for the life of Mama. Amen. 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 I'd like to call on um, the choir. We, we say they are the best choir in the world. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, the choir of Chapel of Glory, uh, Ages, Redeemed Christian Church of God, Ages, Chapel of Glory, uh, to please lead us in praise and worship. Amen. Amen. You good? Yes. Okay. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. In all things, you say give, we should give you thanks, and we're just going to give you thanks. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have. 
Father, we say thank you, Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, for everything you will grateful, thank you, Lord, thank you.
nailed in your hands from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head I will sing of the goodness of God all my life all my life you have been faithful say all my life all my life you have been so so the situation we say God is so good God is so good God is so good is so good is so good to us to we in the place. God.
shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I say let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Choir, please don't go too far. You are going to lead us in uh, the first hymn of today. Hymn number one, shall we gather at the river? jump those hands for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, for the life of our mama. God bless you all. I'd like to call on, um, please you may be seated, I'd like to call on uh, Mrs. Bukola Usedele to please come and give us the first scriptural reading. First Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 13 to 18. Please let's give the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords a round of applause as she comes forward to read the scripture. I'll be reading our first Bible for today. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 to 18. Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to uninformed about those who sleep in debt so that you do not grieve like the rest of the man mankind who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For 
the Lord himself. Come down from heaven with a loud command, with a voice, for the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command with the voice of the Achan Hatch Angel and with the trumpet call of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, who we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. May the Lord bless them, bless them, reading of this word. Praise the Lord. The joy of the Lord is your strength, Sister Bukola. I'd like to uh, call on the choir again to please lead us as we take our second hymn. If you don't mind, please kindly rest your feet. On Christ the solid rock I stand. taken from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 2 and I have the honor and privilege to call on Damaris Usedele to please read that for us. Damaris Usedele. I believe Damaris is the great granddaughter. Am I right? Please church, let's encourage her. Let's encourage her. Mm-hmm. 
Damascene and the great granddaughter, and I'll be reading Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 2. A time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot. Praise the Lord. My prayer for each and every one of you seated here is that when the time comes for you to go, like Mama, you also have your great-grandchildren reading at your funeral. Yeah. Can I hear a better amen? Yeah. Can I hear a better amen? Yeah. Can I hear a better amen? Yeah. Thank you so much, beautiful Damaris. God bless you. Amen. We know you all are missing Mama, Grandmama, very, very... Uh, very, very badly, but the joy of the Lord will be your strength. I'd like to call on Mama's, am I correct, please, if I'm wrong, correct me, the first grandchild of Mama, am I right? Brother Gide Usirele to please give us the eulogy for Mama. Please, let's appreciate him, let's appreciate him. Welcome, everyone. So this is a tribute to my, my, hmm. the wife? my beloved, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mama Esther was an incredible mother, grandmother and great-grandmother. She was very caring, kind, generous, and a great teacher. She taught me in particular, when I was much younger, how to pray, how to read the Bible, how to write letters to my mom in Canada, and most importantly, how to do home chores including how to cook. She was born into the pres prestigious Sashere Lagokun dynasty of Idori, Ondo State, Nigeria. Her father, late Chief Emmanuel Adeni Ilomafel Lagundoye, and her mother, late Princess Alice Adegon Lagundoye Ni Olusayero, was a direct descendant of Oba Toguroje of Fidori. Mama was fondly called Yeye Jide by all and sundry while I was growing up in Nigeria. She raised me since I was one day old. And she did a fantastic job she was indeed my beloved mother, my close confidant, and my prayer warrior. She was a loving mother to her only child, Oredo Lapo Moniolua, a caring grandmother to Bridget, Nicholas, and my wife, Bukola. She was an amiable, great grandmother to Damaris and Tina. Mama was a dedicated Christian throughout a lifetime. She loved to read the Bible. She loved to sing, particularly her Anglican hymns. One of her favorite hymns was Oluwami Mo Ferore she was prayerful and loved and loved a family and everyone that came away. My mom loved to go to church. 
she would always say to me, most Saturday evenings, Baba Dara, she am a church lola. Mini Baba Dara, are we, are we attending church service tomorrow? I would always frown at me whenever my response was a no. Mama imparted so many lives. She was very friendly, always smiling, very simple and easy going. I never saw her fight or argue with anyone. No wonder many of her friends turned the family, called her grandma and treated her as such. Mama liked to greet and had pet names for every single family member. She would always say to us, even at the slightest opportunity, Omatojue, <laughs> meaning your children would care for you. Mama was very appreciative and gracious. I feel honored and privileged to have been your grandson, your son. You, you always loved me unconditionally and were the very best grandmother mother anyone could wish for. I will miss you forever. You always live in my heart. Only God can fill the void that Mama's passing has created. Praise the Lord. Amen. It is well with you, Brother Jide. I would like to call on uh, Elder Biodun or Lagundoye to please give us tribute for Mama. After that, I will be calling on Engineer Jerry Akindomiri to do the same. Welcome, brothers and sisters in the Lord. Our protocol of sad is worthy to be praised. Is worthy to be praised. My Redeemer, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, my Redeemer. You are worthy to be praised. To God be all the glory. Talking about my late sister, Auntie Esther Olashiga, a different one, after her demise. It's, it's, it's a scary, tedious task. My distinguished, amazing princess, Auntie Esther Olashige, she came as a special creator star. She was a rare bread, bread. She was one of the sh children of late chief Emmanuel Lumanfeo Lagmudoy, who was from the Sachere Lago dynasty of Idari Kingdom. While her mother was late Princess Alice Adigunsola, Adigunsola of Ulusairo royal family, being a direct descendant of Oba to Urojuye, 
Mrs. Esther Olashige was the former company secretary of John Hoots Limited, Undo, for good 10 years before she got married to Chief Ebu Adifemiwa, a retired judge. My sister, she was a decent and responsible human being, washing auntie from as long as I can remember. She exhibited the best qualities of any decent family. God gave her the grace to assist. Auntie Esther lived a balanced life a Dali mother and, and a grandmother. She was highly regarded within all, uh, all family circles in our communities, a devoted Christian. She lived her life in a strict mirror of the fruit of the spirit. Galatians 5, 22, 23 says, the fruit of the spirit is love. Her life radiated love. She was a woman of peace, lived at peace with all men. My sister, woman of peace, she always concerned for peace. The Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the child of God. Blessed are those who work for peace. Matthew 5, 9. My sister will always be remembered as a woman of peace and good at heart. Wow, my sister, my auntie, my friend, who will not miss you? A caring, loving, and dedicated mother. Offense was not in your dictionary of life. Offense very alien to you. You have lived a fulfilled and purposeful life. You were principled, courageous, caring, a good leader. I miss you so much, and you were too kind to be missed. If there was to be a, re a repeat of assistance, please do not change any of your ways of life. A life of love, kindness, patience, goodness, and godliness. We felt such a long, strong, imaginable bond. As a Christian, I hold on to the lesson of Ezekiel, uh, which uh, the, the, the granddaughter have already read now, 3 1 to 2, that says, There is a time for everything a time to be born and a time to die. With me, she was gentle, understanding, and never angry. We were the closest among our four siblings and the last two. To God be the glory that I have her in my life. It's really my highest pride. When I eventually made a choice in my life, a choice of picking my wife, Cecilia, she accepted her, she accepted her, and a sisterly relationship developed between them. She was instrumental to the establishment, to the established relative peace 
and love in my home. I thank God for the good legacy that she left behind. My sister, Olashige. You are truly one in a million. You left us sooner than expected. Your death, your death is to the glory of God. When uh, Lazarus died and Jesus was called upon, he said the glory, the, the death of Lazarus is to the glory of God. In the words of Apostle Paul, in 2 Timothy chapter 4, she has fought a good fight. She has kept the faith. She finished her course, and now my distinguished, amazing sister, Princess Olashige, has gone home to receive her crown in that better kingdom. May your kind and cheerful soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Amen. Good night, my amazing sister. Hola, Shige. We shall meet at the feet of uh, Jesus Christ on that on the resurrection day. We shall keep the legacy you left behind of charity, love, unity of family. Sleep at the bosom of our Lord Jesus Christ. You live an exceptionary life worth of emulation by all and sangry. Your memory will continue to linger on. Good night. What a, what a faithful essence to a sister loved by all. And I want to thank you for coming, for sharing your time with us. I pray that as you have arrived here safe and sound, you will return to your place of abode safe and sound in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Amen. We'd like to call on engineer Jerry Akindo Lira to please give, give his tributes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you for coming, everyone. For those who don't know me, my name is engineer Jerry Akindo Lira. I'm the son in law. If I have to stay here right now and turn the goodness of Mrs. Chief, Mrs. Esther Olashege at the FMA, we'll be here till tomorrow. I have therefore wrote a very short metaphor to tell you briefly who she was. November 11 in Canada and around the whole world is a Remembrance Day, a day to celebrate and honor the giants that fought hard for peace in the world. On this very day, November 11 at exactly 9.30, that is when my mother-in-law, <coughs> Chief Mrs. Esther, at the family where departed this wicked world and move on to glory. 
to join her ancestors and the giants. So, you shall be equitably be remembered as one of the giants that lived true and fought for peace, for love and harmony within the community, within people around you, and within the family. You have left no stone untouched with your mind as touched. You are the biggest tree in the forest. But the tree is down now. On your way to heaven, the gate of heaven is opened. The angels in heaven are rejoicing to receive you. As you go, your indelible, impeccable legacy will ever be remembered and honored the same day like the giants on the on November 11, every year and the days of my life. You are like a battery that connect and generate current. You have connected with everyone. with individuals, and you have generated a powerful current of love, peace, and encouraged to live in harmony. For the time I have spent with you, even though I was never a child, you taught me how to divulge peace, tolerance, and how to live in harmony within people around me. You are a big river of blue water with so many kinds of fishes. But the big river is dry now. All what the fishes can do is to look at themselves and say, I quote, we do not know what we had until we lost it. <laughs> So, as you have been re received in heaven at the bosom of our almighty God, I am going to miss you. Continue to rest in peace, my mother in law, until we meet again and never to depart. Good night, my great mother in law. Rest in peace.
I thought our dear brother was an engineer. How many of you agree with me that he's a fantastic writer? He's a poet. Mama Olashige, I have no doubt in my mind whatsoever that she was indeed a great woman. For your son-in-law to be crying when some son-in-laws would have been fasting and praying that their mother-in-law should go. <laughs> it's a testimony to the facts that mama, you were indeed a virtuous woman. Please let's celebrate our mama. <laughs> thank you very much, sir, for that wonderful uh, write-up. And thank you, Eda Biodu, Olagundoi, for your beautiful tributes. My prayer is that each and every one of us shall be celebrated. Amen. It doesn't really matter if you say amen or not. I know you will be celebrated. Amen. Uh, this juncture, just in time, our dear Pastor David Atoyebi of CAC Brampton walked in just when it's time for him to say a word of prayer for the family. Please join me to welcome him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm sorry that uh, I'm a bit late. I'm not used to driving to this environment, so we ran into traffic and was thank God we are here. But I came at a time when nothing better can be said about mommy than what engineer has said. I was going to echo, you know, uh, their reverend that I thought is mama's son, but really is mama's son-in-law. And for me, this is what I would love that be said about any child of God. What are you leaving behind? Today is not really all about mama, it's about me and you. And mama has left us, you know, those character, those attributes that we should all crave for and emulate. And I pray that what is being said about mama today, even much more and better ones will be said about us on the last day when we breathe our last in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we pray? Everlasting rock of peace, Lord God, we thank you. Thank you, Lord God, for the life that mommy lived. Even though I did not get to meet mommy while she was alive, but I've met more than I could have learned from her because a lot has been said about her by Evangelist Olagundui and by the engineer. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the family that she has left behind. We thank you, Lord God, for her life. We thank you, Lord, because, Lord, you called her back home at the time that you have determined. We thank you, Jesus, that today we are celebrating the life of a child of God. Mm -hmm. We are not regretting her that she did not meet Christ. Mm -hmm. She did not only meet Christ, but she passed on the message to others. Mm -hmm. Father, Lord, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We thank you. That even in the love, life of our brother, Evangelist Olagundoye, we see those traces, we see those characters, we see those attributes of an indeed a, 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 a well grounded you know, child of God. Father, we pray for this family that, that although you have come on my own, that Lord Jesus, you will grant the children the grandchildren, the brothers, the sisters, and every member of the family long live in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord God, we pray that your light will shine on this family. Amen. And darkness will have no room there in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, Lord God, 
will commit their joining in this life unto you. The Bible says in Psalm 39, 12, it says, we are, we are, we are sojourners here. We are on pilgrimage. A day we come when we all breathe our last. And no man can say no when they are called upon. You just have to answer. It's not a call you can dodge. It's not a call to say, I am engaged. You can't leave a voicemail. Father Lord, we pray that when that day comes, we will not be found in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for you, every member of this family left behind. Mama has led you to Christ. I pray that the enemy will not lure you away from the path of this life in Jesus' name. Amen. And for all of us that are saying amen, peradventure you have not met Christ. Peradventure you are, you are dilly-dally. You've not made that decision. What if the trumpet sounds today? I pray for you. That grace will speak for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, only those that are drawn to me by my Father, those are the ones that will come to me. Mm. And those are the ones that receive mercy. Mm. I pray for anyone who has not received that mercy. That today is your day. Mm. This gathering is meant for you. Amen. That you receive mercy and receive that salvation in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We pray that as we have all come under the umbrella of Christ today, we shall not look back, we shall not fall by the wayside in Jesus' name. Amen. We all shall make heaven. Amen. And when Christ shall come again, when we meet again, we will meet with Mama and to part no more in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Thank you so much, man of God, Pastor David Atoyebi. God bless you, sir. We'd like to call on the choir again to please lead us in our hymn number three, Amazing Grace, first and last stanza. to the glory of God. Before I do that, I'd like to call my beloved um, Deacon Babajide and Sister Biodu to please come back. You know your pastor has the best voice in the world. <laughs> Amen. Please come and bail me out. There's this song I'd like us to take while we are standing before I bring the message, if you don't mind. Eba mi beje suga, oba la oba toga. Ebe je suga, ezu mare oba toga. 
of days we bless your holy name. Amen. The I am that I am, the immortal God, the invisible God, the God that never gets tired. To you be all glory, to you be all honor. Amen. We thank you for the life of our dear mama, Madam Esther Lashige. We thank you for the children, thank you for the grandchildren, we thank you for the great grandchildren, we thank you for all the family members. We thank you, Lord, even for the strength to bear this irreparable loss. My Father, my God, as your word come forth, let it come with fire. Let it come with passion. Let your word bring healing. Let it bring comfort. Amen. Let it bring deliverance. And above all, let it bring salvation. For in Jesus' mighty and powerful name, we have prayed. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I say, let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I've titled... My message, Death, a Painful End. Death, a Painful End. Before I continue, I'd like to uh, formally introduce myself. My name is Pastor Victor Erabo. I'm the, uh, by the grace of God, the senior pastor at the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Chapel of Glory, Ages. I'm also the uh, Zona Coordinator for Redeemed Christian Church of God, Ontario Zone 4. I have my immediate assistant here, Pastor Toyin Olawi. Amen. Amen. And uh, some of my ministers here, Deacon uh, Babajide Lawal and Sister Biodun Lawal. And uh, I have uh, Brother Femi Saliu, my music director. And uh, the keyboard is Sam Sound. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'd like to apologize on behalf of my wife. She's not here today. We're actually supposed to be on uh, a little retreat for the family. Uh, when these, uh, uh, we've already planned, we've already paid. But this happened. So my family is away. After this program, I'll be joining them. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Uh, what is death? According to the uh, online dictionary, death is the action 
or fat of dying or being killed or the end of the life of a person or organism, the end. And what is sorrow? A feeling of deep distress caused by loss, disappointment, or other misfortune suffered by oneself or others. I'd like to express our sympathy to the family of our dear mommy. As you are going to find out later, every loss must be grieved. Every loss. Even the loss of a friend. I'm not talking of death now. Somebody suddenly now say, you are no longer my friend. Or you are no longer my husband or my wife. Or you are no longer my father. It's a loss. And it leads to grief. Not to talk of when you have a situation whereby you do not have an opportunity or the immediate opportunity of relating to that person. It's a very painful experience. No matter how long we live on it, one day we will have to pay the ultimate price for our sinful nature through death. When we have funeral service like this, or when there is a death, it's usually a wake up call to you and I, to the reality of death. And that our time here on earth is finite, is defined. It is not infinite. Our time here on earth is defined. For some of us, we could go into the extra time. Like the case of Hezekiah. If you go to the book of 2 Kings, chapter 20, verses 1 to 6, by the message of God, you can go into the extra time. However, whether we get the extra time or not, and no matter how long the extra time is, the truth is that one day, the game shall surely be over. It's like a football game. They play at 90 minutes. Say, okay, let's go into what? Extra time. Especially if it's the final for the cup to be given. Even after the extra time, the game is still a draw or goalless. Goalless draw. What do they do? Do they look at faces and hand over the trophy? No. Those okay penalty shootout. That game has to be what? Decided. So it is with us. Even if we live up to 120, 110, one day we must go. There comes a time in the man's life. That one will be physically separated from his loved ones forever. No more kisses. No more hug. No more I hate you. No more son or daughter, I love you. No more I will see you later. It is done. The game is over. Unfortunately, whether we like it or not, this is the reality. No matter how you cut, you try to cut or to dice it, all of us shall surely go one day. It may interest you to know that death was not originally part of God's plan for humanity. 
It wasn't. It was the introduction of sin into mankind that also introduced death into the lives of man. According to the book of Genesis chapter 19, it is clear that without sin, we probably would have been talking about what? Death today. Death is the wages of sin that every human being will have to pay. The Bible declares in Romans chapter 6 verse 23 that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Unfortunately, none of us here know when and how we will die. But surely we will die one day. Amen? Amen. According to Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verses 6 and 7, our mortal body must go back. Must go back from where it was sent to us originally. Our spirit, our mortal body will die because it's organic, it will decay. But our spirit must go back to God. And at the end, the question for you and I is, there is a continuum after life here on earth. The question for you therefore is, would you rather spend your eternity in heaven or would you rather spend it in hell? My, my prayer for everyone today is that, number one, you will not die prematurely. And when the time comes for you to go home, you will not miss heaven. Yeah. In Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. For the short time that I have known Mama, I am not God. I do not see and I do not know the heart of man. But if I'm given the authority to speak boldly, where is Mama going to spend eternity? I can confidently and boastfully beat in my chest. Say that Mama is going to be in heaven. Amen. You heard the testimony of the grandson, Jide. Even when he says or thinks or doesn't feel like going to church, Mama will say, there is church eh, tomorrow. Amen? Amen? When this happened and I went to visit him, he told me a lot about how Mama raised him and it was actually that my mother was even making him to be coming to church when he does not feel like coming. Mama will come, even at that age, would sit down quietly and enjoy the service. Mama was preparing for the journey that one day she will embark upon. Mama has run a good race. Mama has fought a good fight. I have no doubt in my mind whatsoever that Mama is going to receive a crown of glory. Amen. As I mentioned earlier on, no matter how long we live, one day we will leave this planet Earth. For according to the scripture that was read by our beautiful granddaughter, our great granddaughter of Mama, Damaris, there is a time to be born, and there is a time to die. And according to the book of Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 20, the soul that sinneth shall surely die. No wonder that the psalmist says in Psalm 55, 51 verse 5, that he was a sinner while he was yet in his mother's womb. I like the version that says, that I was shaping in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. The Bible declares in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27, that it is appointed unto man who wants to die. After that judgment, there is no repentance in the grave. I respect those who believe that there is a place called purgatory. When you die, you first of all go there, then they will purge you, you pay some money to some 
pastors here and so on. They will pray for you, God. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know where that is in the scripture. Let's not be deceived. It is appointed unto man who wants to die. After that, judgment. Judgment. But man has finished that race. Like a student that is well prepared for an examination, there will be no anxiety. There will be no worry. You will ask yourself, okay, where is the teacher going to ask this question? You have all manner of questions in your mind. And you say, okay, if the teacher asks it this way, I will answer it. Ask this way, I will answer it. Then you go into the exam with boldness. And that is why the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 says, Let's now come boldly into the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and grace to be used in time of need. Mama has walked boldly into the throne of grace today. I have no doubt whatsoever in my mind that Mama, the angels are rejoicing. I say the hosts of heaven, they are rejoicing. There is no repentance in the grave. If you are here this morning, I'm not trying to scare you, and you have not given your life to Christ, you have yet another opportunity. I had the toughest funeral that I've ever conducted in my life not too long ago. Some of you heard of two Nigerian boys, young children, international students, that were gone down. How many of you heard of it? They were killed, senselessly killed. I conducted the funeral for one of them, and he was an only son. The parents had three children, an only son and two daughters. The parents had to come all the way from Nigeria instead of attending the graduation ceremony of their only son. It was the funeral. It was painful. It was painful. Death can come at any time. The question is, are you prepared? Are you prepared? Are you prepared? Christ told his disciples a story in the book of Luke chapter 16, verses 19 to 31, a very beggar called Lazarus, who was here suffering, we saw all over his body, and another rich man, whom Lazarus probably was even uh, serving. So Lazarus, let's assume, was a gate man. The big guy will come with his Rolls Royce, with his limousine, right? Lazarus will open the gate. Have you fed the dog? Yes, sir. Have you done this? Yes, sir. And they died. Lazarus was in heaven. And the rich man, was he had suffering. Lazarus was living like a big man, and the rich man was living like a pauper. He said, please, sir, can I even, can you even beg him to dip his finger in water and just drop it on my tongue? He said, no. Though you are seeing him, the distance is very far. Can you also ask him to go to my people to tell them that heaven and hell, they are real? He said, no, there are pastors, Pastor Erabo, Pastor Toi, Pastor Atoye B, and other men of God that I have left to be preaching to them. If they listen to them, it's good enough. If they don't listen, they will be like uh, this rich man in hell. I pray that after you have lived your life here on earth, you will spend your eternity in heaven. Yeah. I have a question for you. What legacies are you leaving behind? We have heard the testimony of Mama from the son-in-law. We have heard the testimony of Mama from the, the, the brother. We have heard the testimony of Mama from the first grandchild. We have heard the testimony of Mama through the tears of Damaris and the mother. If mama was a crazy grandmother-in-law, I'm sure 
Our beautiful daughter there, Bukola, would not have been shedding tears. Oh, probably she could have been crying, but just say, oh, I'm glad she is gone. No, but that is not the case. She's sad that mama is gone. The great-grandchildren are sad that mama is gone. What will be your story when you are gone? Will people be rejoicing that finally that witch is gone? Finally, he that troubles me is gone. Or will people be weeping that I wish you could live forever? What legacies are you leaving behind? Once upon a time, there was a great man from the western part of Nigeria called Obafemi Awolowo. Great man, understand to be corrected. I am from Midwest, from Benin. I wasn't a direct beneficiary of what he did. But people like my dad and older people who knew that man was, they were ready to die for the cause of that man. To the extent my father used to call him, I mean, they used to call my father Awo or Bender. They named him after because he was ready to die for Awolo. Why? Because of the legacies of Awolo. Gave people free education. He touched so many lives. Up to tomorrow, he's still being revered, still being respected in that part of the world. What will you be remembered for? For evil, for wickedness, or for touching the lives of people? I pray that you leave good legacies for your children. Yes. Babajide said that Mama will more or less force him to be reading the Bible, to be praying. What are you leaving for your children? What legacies are you leaving for your children? You can leave them houses. You can leave them cars. But I believe that the greatest legacy you could leave for your children is showing them the path to Christ. Amen? Amen? I'm not saying force them. Show them. So that seed there, when the time comes, when the time comes or when their back is against the wall, they will remember that Papa and Mama taught them eh, something. You may want to ask, how do I inherit the kingdom of heaven? This heaven you are talking about, Pastor Erebo, how do I inherit it? According to the book of John chapter 3, verses 1 to 6, and I'll just quickly read. He said, Jesus gave us a template. I mean, that's where Jesus gave us a template of how to inherit this kingdom of heaven. He said there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do this miracle that thou doest except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. See, not even to enter. Then Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into the mother's womb and be born? Good question. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Confess your sins. And accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Jesus declared in John chapter 14 verse 6. That I am the way, the truth and the life. No one cometh unto the Father except through me. Romans chapter 10 verse 10 says. That with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. But with the heart confession is made unto righteousness. Finally, if you go to the book of 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, God does not wish that any of us should die or should perish, but that we should what? come into repentance. It's a very simple process. You confess your sins. I have done this. I have done that. But Father, have mercy upon me. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. 
You can do that quietly in your room. I'm not going to ask anybody to come out. Finally, my brethren, I would like to encourage the family of Mama not to weep too much like those that have no hope because Mama is in a better place. For it is written in Psalm 116, verse 15, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Mama has left a legacy of good life and has bequeathed unto the children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren the best gift that any parents could ever give to their children, the gift of knowing the importance of eternal life. My prayer for everyone here today is that you will live long. Amen. Can I hear a better amen? amen? And that you will fulfill your destiny. Amen. When the time comes for you to go, you shall go in glory. Amen. You shall have no regrets about your life. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. If somebody received it today, please shout hallelujah. I say, if somebody received it today, please shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Very quickly, I'm going to be praying for the members of the family. I thank Pastor David Atoyabi of CAC for doing it earlier. I'm also directed to add to those prayers. So I would like to ask the family members to please step forward while the rest of you rise to your feet and you stretch your hands to them. Please, if you are mama's brother, uh, children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, the immediate, please, just step forward. Amen? Amen. Church, please look at these people. Please face the church. Face the church. We are celebrating mama. Has mama not done well? All this came from her. Please, let's celebrate mama with a big clap of to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen? Mama is not dead. Mama is sleeping. Amen? Amen? The person that is directly related to all these ones, how can you say she's dead? She's not. Mama is sleeping. And you have opportunity again to see her someday. But when, we don't know. Amen? Amen? I have just two prayer points for this family. Number one, that none of them would die below the age that mama died. Amen. Did you get that prayer? Yes. In other words, mama did not bury her only child. None of you would bury any of your children. Amen. Amen. Please let me hear better amen. 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 Please stretch your hands to them. As the Lord God of heaven and earth remains, before whom I stand this afternoon, I declare and I declare unto your destiny that in this family there shall be no premature death. Amen. As the Lord God of heaven and earth remains, before whom I stand this morning, this afternoon, this day, no member of this family is permitted to die before the age that mama died. Amen. Each and every one of you will live longer than mama. Amen. As mama did not bury her only child, none of you is permitted to bury any of your children. Amen. As you have seen the beginning of your children, you will not see the end of your children. Amen. None of you will see the burial ground of your children. Amen. Ah, Amen. The Lord God of heaven and earth, that watch over mama through thick and thin, through challenges, through difficult times, and gave her victory. That same God of heaven and earth to crown all your efforts is success. You all will do better than mama. Amen. Your children will do better than you. Amen. Ah, as the Lord God of heaven and earth, Renet, as the Lord God of heaven and earth,
God bless you. God bless you. I'll call on the choir now to please quickly come forward again and give us the last hymn for the day. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'll call on the choir to please lead us in our last hymn, It Is Well With My Soul. After that, we'll call on um, one of Mama's uh, siblings that I've just been told is around here, or brother that is around here. Uh, what's the name again, sir? Okay, Chief Tunde Olagudori. After that, We'll just come forward and say one or two things. Then we'll call on Sister Bridget Akindo Lire to give us the um, vote of tax. Choir, please. Please, you'll be resting your feet as you take this. Uh, With your soul. Tell yourself it is well with my soul. You may be seated. God bless you. I'd like to call on our father, Chief Tune, to please uh, come and say one or two things. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, Pastor Rabo for well. For a job well done. Thank you, very Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, this afternoon, we are here celebrating the life of my sister, of our sister, our mother, our grandmother. And for you to come out to celebrate with the family, family of Olagun Doye and Adefewa. 
we really appreciate it. I just shook uh, my friend's hand there, Dr. Kazin. As we know how busy he, he is, he told me when I gave him this information about the passing of my sister. He promised that he will be here. Thank you very much, Dr. Kazin. Thank you. I won't say much. You've heard a lot about the tribute from the grandson, from my brother, Biotu, from everybody that has spoken. My sister is a well-loved sister. We we'll miss him. Since his passing, I haven't been myself. Why? Because he was a dear sister to me. We are always on the phone together. And the most important part, aspect of her life is to keep reminding me about our upbringing, even though as you know from the age, we are senior citizens. But he would, each time we, we spoke, would tell me, Ili la bosimioko. For those of you <clears throat> who do not understand the Yoruba language, means, Ili la bosimioko means regardless of your comfort outside your home. But that home where you are born has to be the most important place of your life. Yes, Olagun Doe family is a big family in, at Idonre. And those of us that are outside that kingdom, Idonri, we try our best to portray people from good homes. I want to use this opportunity to thank all of you again for coming out. Uh, look at how the, the weather out there. You could be out there picnic, doing other things, the good weather, but you chose to be with us. It meant, means a lot to all of us. And today, I want to use this opportunity to thank my niece and her husband, Dolapo and Dokun. Thank you very much for what you have done for your mother. There are people in this life that are blessed with 10, 15, 20 children. They cannot do more than what you have done today as the only child of my sister. Thank you and God bless you. And I, I don't want to repeat what Pastor Erabo has been saying here, that we have to keep a legacy of the good life. Whenever we see an example of it, let us emulate it. And my sister is that touch that touches all lives. I agree with you, Pastor Erabo. My sister is not dead. She has gone to a good life. And we all hope to join her, to rejoice with her. Again, on behalf of Olagundoe family, and Adifemwa family, I say thank you for coming. Thank you so very much, sir. God bless you, sir. 
Uh, I'd like to call on Dikina Cecilia Alagundoye to please give the oriki for our dear mommy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ile o, ile o, mama re le o, ile lo la tarara, mama re le o, ile lo la. Ile o, ile o, ile o, ile o, mama re le o, ile lo la. Mama <laughs> Abacho felele, abuli tobe mama lo sorriri. Abacho felele, abacho felele, abuli tobe mama lo. If I have to talk about my sister, my mommy, my sister-in-law, I'll be here, just like the engineer said earlier. I've been in contact with Mama for the past 47 years. I remember the first time that my husband took me to go and meet Mama at her papa. We were still dating then. We haven't been married. We got to Mama's house, and my husband introduced me to her. She looked at me. She said, ah, woman, say what? <laughs> Mini, you are pretty. And she said, you are going to marry my, my brother. I said, yes. She said, you now marry my brother. You are my sister. The moment you enter that house, you are my sister. I did not have a younger sister, but you will become my sister. And she said, let us pray. Before she, you know, she prayed. Mama is a prayer warrior. There is nothing that can move mama. You, you said you have a problem. You have anything? By the time you see mama, everything will be cool because she's a woman of peace. What she's going to say to you, you won't even think about that problem. We all go through so many obstacles, but the moment you bring it to her attention, she said, ah, Haji Obola, esun yola onshe eleshe, meaning there is nothing impossible for God to do. So just trust God, put your trust in God. Ah, she, ojuwa ngokpesin, that God will do it. But we human beings, we are so anxious, you know, for God to do things in our life. So that is our mama. I cannot go on and on and on and on, but I thank God that I'm married to that family that associate with mama. There's so, there are some legacy that I took for mama, and that legacy will remain in me forever. Mama never differentiates who you are, where you come from, where you were born. That's not mama. You cannot go to mama's house, you will not be hungry. Mama doesn't have one dollar to give you, you must eat. If that is the last food that she have in the house, you must eat. That is, you know, generosity of her. You know, the Bible says you should feed people who are hungry. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you see me with this dress now, you don't know if I'm hungry, if I have, if I'm hungry. 
things will not be the same. So, Mama, you will be missed. But you did not die. You are in our heart. Amen. You are in our heart. You did not die. Mama Esther, Ola Shege, Adefe Miwa, Ni Ola Gundoye, Oma Sashere La Goku, Oma Balo Mafe, Ajile Jeku, Ode Yaweran, Oma Yemde Gwala, Oma Gwa Omoye, Oma Jomo Lobo, Ola Imisi, Ogbe Gegbola, Ogbola Lisa, Ogbe Shetaye, Sunre O Mama, Sunre o, de la kwe she daro e, abi yone she daro e, ome e jide, e yu obi na ti no e, e she daro e o. Ma joko, ma jeko lo. Ma ansun o, do ka bo jugo wan, ma ma du yak jono kan shona wan o no ko jesu. Ibi ye e la o nye e no wo to ju e, a ma de to ju e be yin. I do have a domain, they told you, and you told you, well, those who real mama, oh, my back, back, I go, oh, my boy, no, we share well, oh, my boy, yeah, yeah, me do, oh, my friend, I lie, I don't do, oh, my little lady, my juice, yeah, soon real, soon real. Sunreo, Sunreo, Mama, it shall be well with you and it shall be well with your soul in the name of Jesus. Bless you, Mommy. We have so many talented people in the house today. Please, let's appreciate Mommy again. You know, some people believe that pastors should not cry. Do you believe that? Pastors are human beings. Amen? Amen? But I've been battling here, I must confess. It's tough, but we thank God. Mama is not dead. Her memory will live forever in all our hearts. I'd like to call on Dr. Kazim. I promise you that's gonna be the last person that will be speaking outside the program to uh, come and say one or two things on behalf of the Nigerian community. Dr. Kazim, please, let's welcome me with a round of applause. Good afternoon, my brothers and sisters, and thank you for giving me the few minutes. I just thought that I'd be, I'd be remiss if um, nothing is said to put into context what Mama means. We already know even without coming here, what a family, what an important exemplary family, the Ola and the Akinfemi Owasa. But I also want to let you know that the Nigerian community has just also lost a great grandma, a grandma. All of us, we are a family. We are a big family. On a personal touch note, I just want to let you know that I had the sister, I had only one. That's my only sibling. Mama said, that's the one who raised me. She passed a week after I came. I mean, we came here in July 77, my wife and I for residency. November of that year, she had a stroke. That's the only person the only sibling that I had, and the one who raised me. All that you said about Mama, she shares that quality too. I want all of us to listen to the word of the pastor. One day, we're gonna go. And where we're going, we do not know. So let's live as if there is heaven and earth, heaven and hell. And never believe, however brilliant they could say they are, I'm a scientist, I know all of the universe, all of that. There's no God. There is God. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm so glad I gave uh, Dr. Kazim that opportunity to speak. There is God. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, sir. We've heard so many things you're doing in the community. 
We appreciate you, sir. God bless you, sir. I'd like to call on Sister Bridget Akindolire to please give the vote of thanks. After that, I'll call on Pastor Toin to give the closing prayers. Then I will lead the family members out. Uh, you join them for a light uh, refreshment outside. Am I right? Uh, Sister Bridget Akindolira, please. Just bear with me, sorry. I told myself I wouldn't cry up here, so. I know, can somebody be? <clears throat> On behalf of my family, we want to extend our sincere appreciation to all of you for attending today's ceremony, both physically and virtual. We are grateful to all of you, all of our loved ones, for your support and comfort as we mourn but also celebrate the life of our mother, our sister, our aunt, our grandma, and our great-grandma. Thank you to the Barnes Memorial team for assisting us with organizing today's program. Thank you, Pastor Victor, Pastor David, Pastor Patience, and Pastor Tony for your prayers and leadership in leading today's service. Thank you to the RCCG Chapel of Glory Choir and the musicians. Such beautiful sounds and harmony that we heard today. And I know my grandma. <laughs> Would be so delighted in the songs of praise. I also want to take the time to extend a very personal and hearty thank you to my grandma. Thank you, Grandma, for loving me and for being my grandma. Thank you for being such a strong pillar in our family and extending your love to those around you. Thank you for showing me specifically how to love the Lord wholeheartedly. Thank you for being a shoulder to lean on and to cry on. Thank you for your words of wisdom your teachings, and for leaving me with such honorable values. Thank you for being all of our prayer warriors, as you, as you all have heard today, and for being such a selfless and generous woman. You will be missed deeply. And I won't say goodbye, but rather see you later. Rest in peace, Grandma. Mm. Pastor Tony, please come and give us the closing prayers and benediction. Praise the Lord. Amen. What a remarkable service for a remarkable woman, a wonderful woman, a phenomenal woman. I, I just um, extend my love and sympathies again to the entire members of the family and the friends and the loved ones. And he said, what a blessing you are blessed to have had the experience of her as a mother, a grandmother, a great-grandmother, a brother, a sister, an aunt, a cousin. We thank God. The Bible says in all things we should thank him. It is extremely difficult to lose someone so dear, so loving, so, so close to us. It is very difficult. But you know what? God knows. He knows. Jehovah sees. He knows. And he helps us in all our infirmities. He is with us. He promises, I am with you always. And he is always there. Because the love he has for us surpasses all the love that we all collectively could have for Mama. He has that love for Mama, and that's why he's chosen to call her home at this time. And he has this love for us, and he calls us all to his warm embrace in love. May the love that unites this family that was in Mama continue to unite you strongly in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we just want to thank you again for your mercies. We want to thank you for this remarkable gift to this family, to, to this community, Lord. Jehovah God Almighty, we thank you. We cannot thank you enough because there's nothing but your gift of love personified. 
Jehovah, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for this service. We thank you for the, for the reminder, Lord, for the beautiful memories, for the love that this family has enjoyed, oh God, for you, through your daughter. And we thank you that it shall be everlasting because you said the memory of the righteous is blessed. Her memories will always be blessed, Lord, to the glory of your name. Jehovah God Almighty, that which she has sown in the lives of her entire family, O God, Father Lord, shall grow forth and reap a thousandfold to the glory of your name, in the name of Jesus. And Father Lord, as we bring this service to an end, we cannot but thank you for the presence with us, O Lord, today. Let this presence be in a daring, O Lord. Let it touch each and every one of us, Lord. Let us feel a tangible presence of you, particularly for the immediate family, O God. Father Lord, in those moments when they cry out to you, O Lord, Jehovah, show up for them, Lord. Strengthen them, Lord. Let your love encompass them. Let your love strengthen them. Let your grace and your love, O God, be tangible round and about them at any point as they remember your dear daughter, your precious daughter that you have called to yourself. Father, Lord, we know that she's in a better place. We know she's looking down, O Lord, and we know that she's saying to each and every one, let your soul be at rest. I am fine. Just come, walk with me, walk with the Lord, so that we shall be reunited in future to the glory of your name. Father God Almighty, as we go, let your presence not go away from us, O Lord. Be with us, O Lord. Take us safely home to all our abode in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, this is just the beginning of all the ceremonies to celebrate her life, a beautiful life, O God. Father, Lord, we commit all, all the ceremonies that will be happening, O God. Father, Lord, to celebrate her life. Father, Lord, we commit them unto your hands. Father, Lord, from one unto another, Lord, shall be glorious and glorious. Father, Lord, God, we pray, O God, that you remove, O God, this morning, O God, and you replace it with a garment of praise, O God. Father, Lord, to the glory of your name, Jehovah, we thank you. We bless your name. And as we go, we say, O oh Lord, shall we say the, the grace of the Lord together? Father God Almighty, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and goodness all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Pastor Toyin. Let's appreciate Pastor Toyin. So that's, with that, we've uh, come to the end of this uh, program, the former end of this program here in Canada. I'm sure the next stage is going to be in Nigeria. But before we all fly back to Nigeria for that, we are going to have a very light refreshment, so I would like to encourage the family members to please rise, and the rest of the people in the service, please rise to your feet. As the family members file past you to the uh, refreshment hall, please spend some time with them and uh, just encourage them. God bless you. We pray that God will take you back to your various destinations safely in Jesus' mighty name.